Well, this year's budget certainly packed plenty of surprises, with Treasurer Scott Morrison aggressively targeting multinational corporations and superannuation, but at the same time providing tax cuts for individuals, small businesses and big business over 10 years. The major surprise of the budget was changes to superannuation that limit the amount of money that can be contributed and retained in the system. A lifetime cap of $500,000 on non-concessional contributions came into effect on budget night and a reduction in the concessional cap to $25,000 will start on 1 July, limiting the amount of money that can be accumulated in super. A new limit of $1.6 million will apply to pension balances, further reducing these, but in a small win, those over the age of 65 will now be able to make concessional contributions without meeting a work test. The news was much brighter on the business front, with the tax rate decreased from 30% to 25% over 10 years, with small business having an immediate reduction to 27.5%. GST on low value imported goods will also need to be charged from 1 July 2017 and a new Google tax will target large multinationals attempting to move profits overseas. As expected, there were no changes to negative gearing, however there were large investments in infrastructure including metro rail projects in both Melbourne and Sydney along with funding for a second Sydney airport. In the higher education sector, the government confirmed they would not proceed with fee deregulation whilst at the same time releasing a discussion paper on the future of the sector. The Asian Region Funds Passport Initiative is being introduced to make it easier for Australia to export our significant expertise in the funds management industry and the Fast Track Visa program introduced last year has been extended to India, Vietnam and Thailand. For a detailed analysis of how the budget impacts you or the sector you work in, visit our website today.